This is the final result of our HTML assessment task. You can see there's four groups. These are all field set with legend, four of those. And each one has different content depending on the requirements. Now there's two interactive elements. So one of them is if you put your mouse over the labels or the input controls, the form input elements, they will get larger. So it's kind of just a, a fun uh, trick, if you like, using style sheet rule. And that makes the text and the control appear larger. OK, that's just a bit of fun, but that is part of the requirement. So you have to do that. And then the other one is after you choose your picture, then the picture has to be shown in the web page, just like this. Now, to do that, you need a bit of JavaScript, and we give you that JavaScript. So actually, it's not hard to get that working. So let me go ahead and type in some things just to illustrate it being used. Something like this. And what else do we have? Gender. Let's say I forget to do my gender. Whoops. And let's come and carry on. Let's do age, make up something. Let's do uh, some kind of number input for the date of birth. Obviously, I'm not doing it very seriously, but uh, I'm just trying to test things out by entering some dummy data. Favorite color, whatever you like. And then uh, which country are you in, whatever you like. Height, nice sliders here, tall, and uh, unfortunately poor. And enter a few more things. And this is obvious stuff. But don't think that these are, uh, for example, this one, don't think this is a text input. It's a special type of input for handling emails. So it will reject something if it does not look like an email. So let me quickly type in some stuff. And what else do we have? Mobile. So let me, something like that. And I could do address as well, whatever. So this is how someone would use the form that you've prepared. All right, uh, I could add a couple more things, let's say like this. So after you've filled in everything, you should be able to submit it. However, what happens if you haven't filled in everything? If you come up here, you can see there's a message. It's disappeared now, but it said you must fill this in before you can submit the data. All right, let's try it again. Submit. Ah, oh, please select one of these options right there. All right, so I must choose one of those options. Let's choose mail. And now I think I've submitted, I've entered all the data I have to enter. And now I should be able to submit. And yes, it's gone over to the server and sent everything to a particular server program. Now this part is not actually part of the project, but if you ever do get that far, then you'll see that all the data you've selected, like the file name and so on, the color and so on, is indeed sent to the server program. However, that is not part of the assessment task. All right, so let's come back here. That is a brief overview of the final result of the HTML assessment.